I was just off the air uh, while talking with Karen Dignaco, uh, mentioning that, gosh, it's hard to believe that the Sharon Classic Road Race is coming up on May 4th. Karen, good morning. Good morning, Marshall. It's amazing how quickly it comes up nowadays. I know. I, I don't. I'm not going to say it's age, but um. <laughs> age is age is a participant in it. But here's the great thing: uh, it looks like we've got showers off and on all week long. And Saturday, it looks like the temperatures are going to be. It's going to be sunny, and temperatures are going to be in the 62 to 68 degree range. That would be perfect. Uh, Absolutely perfect for a race, and sunshine brings out the families. That's can't ask for anything better. So let's talk about this. This uh, let's see here is the 30. Is this the 34th or 30th? 35th. 34th. So I remember starting covering this back, and that means I was I was actually 32 when I was. Oh my started. goodness! I know it's scary <laughs> <laughs> when this started. Well, I haven't been doing it that long, but <laughs> it's amazing, uh, uh, and and how the race has uh, developed and changed over the years from from trot for tots to the Sharon Classic Road Race, and and now this appears to be uh, one of the most looked for small. Uh, races that are held around uh, within probably a 50-mile radius. Yes. Yeah, we, we have definitely grown in popularity and in numbers. And um, I think that's partly due to the fact that we've managed to make it both a real race for serious runners, but also a very fun event for families. And... Um, you know, we have our, our weekenders participate, our locals participate, and then we have some people coming from, you know, the other side of the state. So it's really it's really grown nicely. We're, we're pretty pleased with it. Now, are you still taking advance registrations for this? Yes, we are. Um, you can go to SharonClassic.org and click on the register button, and um, you can save $5 over day of entry, day of race entry price. Um, it's very easy. Just um, enter name, address, et cetera. It's, it's maybe a three, three to five minute process. And um, it's $25 for runners and walkers and $5 for kids' events. And for those who like to register on the day, what, what time does registration open up on uh, Saturday the 4th? Um, around 8.30. All right. we, we usually are up and running by 8.30. We show up early and get things prepped and ready. Um, we often have quite a few people show up on race day, so the, um, the earlier the better. And I, th- I would think that the better the weather, the also probably the higher probability that you'll have some people at the last minute decide Absolutely. Uh, to come out and, and, and run the race. Well, you know, the race itself, uh, the five-mile race begins at about uh, 10.15, but uh, you've got uh, also as famous, I think, as the big race is the Kids Fun Run and the Not Quite a Mile Run as well before yes. that. Yes, it, it draws a lot of um, a lot of participation, a lot of fun. It's always wonderful to see the kids running around on the green, getting out there and enjoying the fresh air and and all the other activities we have on the green. The um, the not quite a mile is is really kind of fun to watch because the kids get so competitive, <laughs> yes, they, they and they they start out with all this uh, great energy, and then they realize, oh my goodness, this really is a little longer than I anticipated. <laughs> well, I know that for a fact because, like I said, when I was around at the beginning, and my my son used to race this when he was in grammar school. <laughs> <laughs> He's married and has two kids now. It's amazing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know. It, it really is pretty amazing. But, you know, on top of the race, uh, you you mentioned, we just briefly touched on it, it really is a family festival that almost is the, the harbinger of summer here. Yes. Yes. We, we have, um, oh, golly, we have a lot going on. We have this wonderful plant sale that a state um, landscaping pr- um, puts on for us that have beautiful hanging baskets and um, potted plants that you can put in your garden and just really, really beautiful selection of plants that are great for Mother's Day gifts or just because you like spring and you want to get some flowers out there. Um, And then we have the silent auction, which consists of a lot of donations from area businesses, you know, restaurants and services and things like that um, that draws a lot of attention and and rightfully so, because they're really wonderful things under that tent. Um, and we have the bounce house for kids that is always popular. <laughs> um, we have playground kind of activities for the kids just to help entertain them if the parents want to shop under the tent or run the race. Um, we do have 
supervised care for children. So a lot going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on on the green. And, and for people that are listening maybe for the first time, uh, by the way, the, the green is very well protected. Uh, drivers are very well aware because there's a road race going on. So mm-hmm. this is really a great environment uh, to get out. And and, and really, uh, it's it's become more than just a fundraiser for you. I mean, it is a major fundraiser for you, but 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 this is a real event that makes makes the Sharon Daycare Center even more visible uh, in the community. Yes, yes, absolutely, and and that was kind of our goal. We wanted it to be obviously we wanted it to be a successful fundraiser, and and it is, but we also wanted to put on something that is valuable to the town. It's sort of an expression of gratitude to the town for all its support of the daycare. Um, we have this great event that brings a lot of people into the town to, you know, potentially shop and spend some time and get to know Sharon and enjoy our lovely green. <clears throat> so we feel, we feel pretty strongly that it's a really solid community event. And what's great about the, the green now, and this what's changed over the years, is that now when people come for the ro- for the road race, well, you, you also have uh, an art gallery. You have J.P. Giffords. I mean, there's there's a lot of things around on the green now that weren't there before. Right. That that people right. can be and, and one of those things is one of our sponsors, um, the Edward Wine Bar. Right. Yeah. They um, they've offered us well, offered our participants a free beer after the race. Um, <laughs> they just, participants just have to take their bib number down to the Edward, and uh, they can have a nice celebratory beer after they've run five miles. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And, and, well, we're talking uh, with Karen Dignaco once again, and you are, I mean, you're the uh, probably race coordinator or co-coordinator because I would think that there's a lot of people that work on it with you. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know, it's on May 4th, uh, which is, like I said, uh, uh, coming up very quickly. But another thing that has really uh, changed over the years and has grown, and that is uh, your Diamond Level sponsors. Um, it's, it's, it's great to see Bruce TV, I know, has been there, I think, almost from the beginning. Estate Care, uh, Jam, uh, Paley's Market. Uh, you've got uh, uh, your photographer that does m- uh, some am- amazing stuff. Yes. Uh, yeah. With that, Salisbury Bank, uh, Sharon Hospital, uh, Sharon Playhouse, uh, Silo Ridge, uh, Stoneleaf, and 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 we've been we've been around for, for for a long, long time. Yes, I mean all these all these people make things possible. They do, and um, they've helped us considerably in our efforts to make it a real um, race, in addition to the, to the fun event that it is. Um, you know, their contributions have allowed us to have you know, serious prize money to have very professional chip timing, which um, speeds things up at the end when we're trying to put together our results and everything. Um, These sponsors have been phenomenal in helping us grow and develop a a well-run quality event. So we're very appreciative. And Salisbury Bank and Paley's and, and you guys have been with us forever. And uh, and Bruce TV almost forever, <laughs> um, and we're happy to have the other, you know, newer um, sponsors join in with us. Uh, so once again, uh, it's Saturday, May fourth, the Sharon Classic Road Race, uh, right here on the green in Sharon. Uh, the registration uh, can be done in advance uh, online. Uh, or the uh, actual the day of the event uh, coming up, I guess. I, I like you say somewhere, somewhere around eight thirty, people can start to register if they haven't registered. Right. Yeah. We, we we try for um, eight fifteen, but norm. You know, it can be eight thirty before we're really up and running. You know, people come. We'll we'll help them. All but, right. Uh-huh. Well, it's the 34th annual to benefit the Sharon uh, Daycare Center. Uh, once again, the Sharon uh, Classic Road Race uh, coming up Saturday the 4th. And, of course, uh, we'll be out front broadcasting and also playing some music, which annoys a few people but makes most people happy. Makes a lot of us happy. <laughs> There's a few people that get annoyed, but once they find out why we're doing it, uh, they're all right with it. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's for the children. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it really is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Karen, thanks for taking a few minutes and joining us this morning, and, and best of luck. And, and is your whole family racing in this again? 
Actually not. Oh, what? Um, <laughs> my whole family, a lot of them are going to be getting together with each other um, down in Maryland, but I will be running and my husband will be walking and we'll make do with just two Dignacos this year. <laughs> okay, and I'm glad you brought that up. This this race, a big component of it is the walkers. Yes. Yes. I, I mean, yeah, we have a lot of walkers and um, they will be timed as well as the runners. So um, if you're a competitive walker, you can get out there and hustle along and probably beat some of us runners. <laughs> <laughs> and there's lots of dogs in the race as well, too. <laughs> yes, yes. That's just been such a fun little component that's built over the years. I love seeing all those dogs on the green, too. Um, all right. Well, Karen, uh, once again, good luck with it uh, on uh, Saturday the 4th. And, of course, we'll see you there. Absolutely. Thank you, Marshall.